the top first on four. Children crossing the border illegally, nothing new, but the amount of them coming across alone is raising concern. The facilities that hold them are quickly overcrowding, leading to a constant shuffle of young refugees who sometimes don't end up back with their families. Whatever the reason, undocumented minors are crossing the border into the U.S. illegally, and when they are caught, many stay here. In 2007, we were allowed to enter the facility. We saw teens attending class in portable buildings, having lunch and dinner in a cafeteria, and then retiring to a dorm-style sleeping quarter all inside a camp-like fenced area just down the street from Los Fresnos High School. Back then, administrators told us there were 104 boys and 55 girls at this facility. Today, those numbers have increased dramatically. We're not working with those countries to the extent that we could uh, and therefore uh, taxpayers dollars and we put millions of dollars there to help with transportation um, if you look at it also I mean it's going to take food uh, diapers because some of them are very young diapers other meals uh, so it's costing the, the taxpayers a lot of money but again we got to take care of this young folks in 2012, the number of referrals averaged 6,775 per year. In 2013, that number grew to 24,668. The majority of unaccompanied minors are from Guatemala who make their way here through Mexico. It's a more than 1,200-mile trek to Brownsville. I have some photographs of uh, what's been happening down there in an amazing situation. They're overcrowded. Uh, there's family units with young babies coming across. There's uh, unaccompanied kids, ages 14 to 17, uh, that are coming across. Uh, and like I said, the majority of them are other than Mexicans coming in from Central America and other places. Because of overcrowding and facilities here in the Valley, children are moved to the Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio. Right now, there are roughly 1,000 children being housed there. If you want to chat about this story, you can find me now on Facebook.com slash Action4NewsMarcy. I'm also on Twitter at MarcyKGBT.